Hey, nice. What's up, Francis and Ted? Welcome to my channel in the program. Um, well, I have had some awkward and kind of in region, in region, having our arguments with my with my grandma over a trivial matter. Perhaps it's not so trivial after all, but. Um, it basically ruined. It basically ruined my entire afternoon, my my entire, you know, the entire a afternoon where I spend where I spend time with her. So um, pretty much, I suppose a you know a, a, a conversation with my with one of my mates in, in Australia actually tr tr um, triggered that and um, you know basically I you know my 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 debit card are due to ex to expire in in about um, 10 to 11 months and I you know I I request for help with you know I I requested for help from you know from from that mate of mine um you know Aaron you know Aaron the revolutionist you you um, for those for those of you who who have subscribed to my channel and uh, frequently watch my my YouTube videos you probably have known him so i suppose he's quite trustworthy and reliable and uh, most of the times um tend to show some you know some sort of uh, you know a, um, amazing kindness and generosity to those who are struggling and uh, you know being in you know being in agony or you know or or, or for those who who got who got um, who got who got stranded with difficulties, especially di um, difficulties with academic progression and their personal finance. So yes, I basically a asked him to you know to redirect and forward the paper mail that contained the replacement debit card, and uh, you know, and uh, yes, and he he said. Um, he said that I didn't have to pay, or I I didn't have to reimburse him with um with anything. So, but my but my grandma, you know, she you know she you know she she came out with a judgment that I should have you know I I should have come to an agreement with 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 Aaron and um, you know I should have come to an agreement with Aaron about the the amount of reimbursement the, the amount you know the price I should have paid um, f to him in advance <coughs> so that you know I I will not get scanned or you know or I will not get hurt, you know. Basically, I can relate to my grandma's worries and concerns, and uh, you know, because in China you tend to encounter lots of scammers and spammers who just, um, you know, who just who will always attempt to to scam away your money, your possessions, with in a heartbeat, be long before you even, you know, long long before even you come to realize that you have got, got yourself scanned and stranded, or fall victim to those scammers and frauds. And uh, yes, I yes I had some some, some quite a you know some a somewhat. Um, fears and um, 
you know, intense ar argument with my grandma. You know, I, I, I told her that, you know, or, 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 or I should say, I, I, I accused her for, you know, of being too, too irrational and too skeptical, um, you know, not so trusting towards friends, towards people, you know. So, I said, if you don't trust that someone's well enough, then you shouldn't have even, then you shouldn't even have spoken to him, then you shouldn't even have requested any sort of help, any sort of assistance from, from that particular someone. Not to, not to mention that that someone being my friend for quite, you know, quite several years. So I really don't want to start any new sort of trouble or, you know, problems with trusting people. Because I have had, or, or I should say, I have seen, I, I have seen too, too many, far too many betrayals um, tre treacherous and treacherous encounters with with dishonest people or you know impatient people or, or frustrating people you know and uh, yes I I can pretty much uh, attribute my anger to the internal pride you know to the internal fear and skepticism in you know in, in inside me so, but now I have come to an, I have, you know, at least to some, to some extent forgiven my grandma. I, you know, just immediately, you know, I, I, I seized the argument immediately after she told me not to continue with, with such conversation. So I, so I paused. So I, so I paused my speech for quite some moments, um, you know, just right, you know, right at the beginning of dinner, I, st I started to speak to her ag again, but I didn't actually make any, op any apologies because I don't know if I should, if I should make any apologies regarding such matter. So, you know, um, so yes, so 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 um, um, at this point, I, I I'd like to I I'd like to give a bit of a or a brief uh, analysis of anger, you know, of the underlying me mechanisms and the uh, triggering factors of anger. So, what do you think that you know? So so basically, what do you think? that caused anger among you guys, among, you know, between you and your sub your subject of conversation, of daily conversation, daily encounters, daily dealings, you know. Um, basically, I, I suppose, you know, in the, you know, anger tends to occur immediately a after you hear something that sounds quite falsely accusing or quite un unfair to you. So just um, as soon as we spot or as soon as we hear anything that we think um, that sounds quite unfair, quite falsely accusing, we begin to, you know, we tend to react to that argument, to that false accusations with another type of false um, false accusations on oh, no, you know um, because you know especially f you know for you know for people like me I I do confess that I still have some you know I, I still bear some sort of pride you know some sort of a pride of manhood um, pride of pa patriarch you know I like you know I quite enjoy being the person in in charge of of important affairs, important de decision making events, important decision making um, situations, you know, 
though I though, though I can't say I I I, I always enjoy it, but uh, most usually I I do find myself enjoying being the one in charge, being the one giving orders, being the one giving instructions to carry out to carry out to execute certain tasks. You know, so yeah, so I well I don't know. I have you know um every time I every time you know I have I you know I I have had some uh, some argument or some disagreement with my grandma or with people uh, you know with people around me I tend to watch the film you know Shawshank's Redemption and uh, I you know this film is is a fantastic film and you know it, it, it always um makes you think of, you know about life you know the purpose of life the meaning of life you know the meaning of the sufferings you know the 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 difficulties you know the um the, the false a um a accusations the unfair treatment discriminations that you know that that, that life tend to throw at us and uh, you know I suppose uh, I suppose excuse me I suppose um, you know there's no meaning of fighting back though, though you can still try though you can still try to fight back to, to fight back against those those who mistreat you, you know, those who discriminate you, or those who who, who treat you harshly, and uh, all, often um, come out with an unfair or false judgment against you, against people like us. Um, you know, you know the Bible. You know the Bible tells us that. Um, God will, uh, will 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 avenge for the falsely accused, the you know, um, you know the, the the poor, you know the the the, the persecuted. I have I forgotten where exactly on, on the Bible. But now I I like to do a Google search. Um, how to deal with false accusations? Bible. Yes, immediately I have, I have had an answer. So allow me to show it to you. It should be here. Yeah. Um, what does the Bible say about false accusations? Um, answer regarding false accusations, the psalmist says, for they do not seek peace. But against those who are quiet in the land, they devise words of deceit. Psalm chapter 35, verses 20. This is an accurate description of the motives and result of false accusations. People lie about the inner sin in order to stir up trouble. This happens on every level of society, from the halls of your local high school to the halls of Pentagon. People accuse others falsely as a revenge tactic or power play, or when they think they are, they have something to gain. There is no need to say that this behavior is unbiblical in the extreme. The command against making false accusations is one of the Ten Commandments, Exodus chapter 20, verses 16. 16. According to Mosaic law, someone who accused another person falsely was to receive an ionic, ionic punishment. The judges shall inquire diligently, and if the witness is a false witness and has accused his brother falsely, then you shall do to him as he had meant to do to his brother. So you shall purge the evil from your midst. Deuteronomy chapter 19 verses 18 to 19. The law also specified that the punishment of a false witness was to be carried out with without pity. Deuteronomy chapter 19 verses 21. It is a serious thing in God's eye to make a false accusation. 
the folly of making a false accusation is illustrated in the book of Ether, a man named Haman, a nobleman in the court of King in the court of King Ahasuerus, devised a plot to frame a Jew named Mordecai or Mordecai and have him hand on gallows fifty cubits high. Haman sought to ensure Mordecai's death by the means of false accusations. Haman devised this plot because he hated Jews, and he especially hated Mordecai because Haman was jealous was jealous of a fa of a favor M Mordecai had received from the king. But Haman's plot was found out, and the punishment for Haman's treachery was poetic justice with Ham on the very gallows he had constructed for Mordecai. Those who make false accusations are under God's judgment. Psalm chapter 5 verse 6 as follower as followers of Christ we can accept that we can expect that people will sometimes make false accusations against us. But bear God's but bear Jesus' encouragement, blessed are you when people falsely shall falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. Matthew chapter 5, verses 11 to 12. No matter what others say about us falsely, we rely, on, we rely on God's word. Though the arrogant have smeared me with lies, I keep your percepts with all my heart. Their hearts are callous and unfeeling. But I delight in your law. Psalm chapter 119, verses 69 to 70. Jesus himself faced false accusations from the Pharisees and their followers. Isaac prophesied this when he said of Messiah. When, when he said of the Messiah, he was oppressed and he was aff afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before his, its shear, its shearers is silent, so he opened not his mouth. Isaiah chapter 53 verses 7. Even Pilate, the Roman governor who oversaw Jesus' sentence, knew that Jesus had done nothing wrong, but he um, he pandered to the Jews and allowed the false accusations to stand. Matthew chapter 27 verses 22 to 26. According to the Mosaic law, those who falsely accused the Son of God should have been themselves crucified. Instead, Jesus looked down at the soldiers and the rulers who were scoffing at him and dividing up his clothing. He said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Luke chapter 23, verses 34. This was an in indication that the Mosaic law had been fulfilled by Jesus' sacrifice and the new law of forgiveness and mercy through faith in the Lamb of God was now in place for all who would believe in him. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. John chapter 1 verses 17 and John chapter 3 verses 16. Okay, so... Uh, Yes, I'm. I'm still not absolutely sure if if this web web page perfectly answered the questions and uh, our uh, you know, or perfectly neutralized or pa pacified our doubts about um, what, how should we react to false um, accusations and harsh treatment or discrimination from <clears throat> from other people you know from especially from from those who who don't quite believe in Jesus or we can we can also re refer um, them as gentiles you know so yeah um, well um Yes, perhaps we should all consider this. Um, when you see someone who, you know, who seem, you know, who, who appears quite superior 
over you in every aspect, in every way, such as a gorgeous, a glamorous young lady who are currently at her age of 16, 20, early 20s, you know, um, and she, she, she often, she often re receives, um, you know, a, a multitude of praise, a multitude of, of, of caring, a, a, a multitude of admiration, or, or, or even appeasers, ass kissers, you know, and then probably as a MGTOW, a, a MGTOW Christian or a Christian MGTOW like me here. You, you will, you know, this, you know, this, um, this reality, this scenario that we usually encounter during our lives will always, will almost always make us pretty upset uh, about ourselves. It, it will even make us extremely de depressed about our own future that you know it you know s satan has successfully managed to manipulate you know humans vulnerabilities so that we tend you know we tend to run into you know the the you know the fallacies of lies and then we start to look we start to look down upon um, ourselves, you know, and, and, and it's a, it, it all appears like a vicious cycle that never ends, unless we choose to reject such lies. So, uh, while you, while you see someone who are, you know, who who appear vastly superior over you, such as a gorgeous young lady who are currently at her age of early 20s or teen teenage um, just consider this her her beauty her glamour her demeanor will not will not last forever neither will 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 our agony last forever you know it will only last like you know 120 years maximum for you know for all men you know, according to the book of uh, Genesis, men shall not live past past 120. It should be yes, Genesis chapter six verses three. Uh, please allow me to double check my Bible. Genesis chapter chapter six verses three. Um, it's, then the Lord said, My spirit will not put up with humans for such a long time, for they are not they are only mortal flesh in the future. Their normal lifespan will be no more than 120 years. So yes, um, this passage, this piece of scripture came from the Bible, New Living Translation, aka NLT version. I have... Um, Currently, I don't have an, you know, um, you know, the the in NIV version. But uh, yes, let's face it. You you know, as men, we all get to live for you know for at most 120 years, and for for um, for women, they don't you know, though they can most usually get to live uh, you know slightly longer than men they will have to endure a lot more sufferings of other types such such as childbirth such as periods such as you know lo lo lots of um, nasty shit of, of of other types of other categories so yes we should at least feel fortunate feel lucky about it because you know, we will never know what will happen to us next in the next several seconds, in the next several days, in the next several hours. And uh, also do remember that God doesn't quite us all, you know, God 
doesn't quite owe us, but on the contrary, we we owe everything to God, the Lord Jesus Christ. And um, you know, yes. So uh, I, you know, I'd also like to make a prayer to to make uh, probably two prayers for myself re regarding the the safe delivery and the arrival of my 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 uh, my, my my Australian debit cards. You know, s s s since I have no other source of income here in China. I pretty much solely depend on the income I manage to generate through the businesses I have owned currently in Australia. So yes, please allow me to commence the prayer. Dear Heavenly Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you again for granting me this another opportunity to to study your words, to to get in contact with you, and in turn also get in contact with other. With, with 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 other um, bar brothers and sisters who currently may be experiencing similar similarly difficult situation difficult um, you know difficult mm. <coughs> difficult struggles as I do um, like pretty much every human individual on earth. We, you know, I like a, like anyone else, always got troubled by, you know, by uh, by conf by uh, by by unrighteous, unjust anger, by unrighteous, unjust pride, by you know, by by you know, just by a a, a variety, a, a multitude of of evil thoughts and evil motives behind each and every harsh words behind each and every hostile action and conversation that I have had with people so dear God please forgive please show mercy on me please have mercy on me on the day of judgment I don't want to go to hell because I don't think I will be able to endure it because um, I, I I always find it hard to endure all of these earthly sorrows. Um, you know, just like you said. Um, just just like you said, Lord Jesus Christ, on earth you will have many. We will have many sorrows, troubles. But take heed, I have overcome the world. So please, Lord Jesus, please re-energize my faith and further strengthen my, you know, my my hope, so that I can uphold your your expectations, so that I can uphold your commandments, so that I can defend and uphold your name, your plan for people like me, for people like us you know, please please make you know please make the safe uh, safe and sound and smooth delivery and arrival of my Australian debit card in China possible and attainable please make do make it happen so that I will not have to worry about my personal finance, the company's finance, so that I, I can achieve abundance, I can achieve your plan, uh, so that I can f fulfill your expectations and plans for me on planet Earth. I also need the money to, you know, to, um, you know, to circumvent the Great Firewall of China, to act to access a free and open internet, I also need some money to, you know, to relocate myself back to back to Australia. If not, if not Australia, then I I need the money to relocate myself to countries like Iceland, to countries like Germany, to countries like um, Norway, Sweden. You know. Um, well, well, it is just my wish anyway. 
if you have a better plans for me, I will I will be more than happy to listen. Please help me hear your voice. Please help me. Uh, please review your plans for me. Please, please soothe and mitigate the uh, you know the the feeling of unjust. You know the the, the unjust feeling. You know the feeling of injustice. The feeling of of uh, you know the, the the doubt, the disbelief. You know the all the all the negativities that that impedes or hinders the growth of my faith in you, the growth of my full faith in you. Anything that impedes or hinders such growth, please purge, please mercilessly, mercilessly purge those 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 hurdles, those obstacles against my faith in you completely and utterly. And also, please help me get a better hold of the the commandment that that, that you men that that you mentioned on the book of James. You know, P people, we should all be, you know, we should all be quick to listen, slow to get angry, and slow to judge others. Um, you know, something like that. Please, Lord Jesus Christ, please, our Heavenly Father, please, Holy Spirit, help me get a better grip. Help me stand steady. Help me hold the line against the temptations to murder someone, the temptations to, you know, to hurt my, my grandma, the temptations to murder, hurt my grandma, my biological mother who, who who is who who still showed some kind of hostility you know the, some kind of hidden hostility though I though I can't know for sure I, I you know deep deep in my heart deep in my soul I still don't trust her I I, I still perceive her as a threat as a as a weak, wicked existent a wicked um, entity of e existence. Please, Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and our Heavenly Father, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Okay. Thank you again for watching and listening, guys. I believe I have wasted enough of your time, so this should be end. This should be it for. Um, for tonight's revelations and talks and prayers so if you do have any types of specific prayers you you'd like me to you know to make on your behalf please feel free to leave your comments please feel free to share this video to your or with your friends and families with your acquaintances with your co-workers with your colleagues um, I thank you again for for watching and listening and uh, stay tuned stay faithful stay blessed and i shall see you on the next video on youtube bye bye cheers